Everywhere on the teeming streets of late 19th century Chicago, Archbishop Patrick Fian saw lives waiting to be saved. Alarmed at the number of homeless young people he saw living on the streets, the Archbishop assigned Father Lewis Campbell to do something about the problem. In 1887, Campbell opened a home for boys on LaSalle Street, near the Board of Trade. It came to be called the Mission of Our Lady of Mercy, and its goal was to care for the spiritual and temporal welfare of homeless and friendless boys and waifs. Today, Mercy Home for Boys and Girls continues to offer solutions for kids in crisis. In its 125-year history, it has served some 25,000 young people in need. Mercy Home offers full-time residential care, counseling, mentoring, and other support for young people suffering from abuse, neglect, abandonment, and poverty. Now under the leadership of President and CEO Rev. L. Scott Donahue, it provides academic, vocational, and therapeutic services for more than 650 young people each year, giving them the opportunity to rebuild their lives and realize their dreams. Mercy Home maintains two Chicago residential campuses, one for boys at 1140 West Jackson Boulevard and another for girls at 11600 South Longwood Drive. Its residential program provides around-the-clock care in a safe and stable home for hundreds of young people age 11 to 21. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the residents of Mercy Home find the support they need to grow and succeed. Mercy Home's focus on education is critical to its success. Its after-school enrichment and tutorial programs provide students with valuable learning and growth opportunities. Its Dream, Believe, Achieve college prep program offers students strategies for academic success, helps them navigate the college application process, and the challenge of financing college. Mercy Home also works to expand the worlds of the young people it serves. The Friends First Volunteer Mentoring Program, in place since 1987, matches at-risk youth with caring adult role models. These mentors often provide their charges with an important introduction to cultural, educational, recreational, and business opportunities they would not otherwise find. Mercy Home keeps caring for its young people even after they have moved on and begun making their way in the world. Since 1981, Mercy Home has been offering lifelong support and resources for former residents through its aftercare program. It ensures continuing access to education and career opportunities, as well as the support needed to help realize dreams. And Mercy Home is not finished growing. In honor of its 125th anniversary, Mercy recently launched plans to renovate a vacant, century-old Chicago building that will serve as transitional housing for members of its aftercare program. But the best way to understand what Mercy Home means to the young people it serves is to hear its many stories of success. Stories like Lydia's. As a young teen on Chicago's north side, Lydia was trapped in a nightmarish home life, forced to give up school and subjected to near-fatal abuse from her boyfriend. To escape, she fled to the police and eventually made her way to Mercy Home. There, she found the love and guidance she had been missing, a safe, welcoming place to live, the chance to learn at a school that would develop her intellectual abilities, friends to support her, educators and counselors to help her. Lydia thrived, graduating from high school, getting her undergraduate degree from Roosevelt University, and going on to the University of Chicago Booth School of Business, where she earned an MBA. If it hadn't been for Mercy Home, she says, there was no telling what might have happened to her. Lydia puts it simply, I believe they saved my life. Lydia is just one of many young people, each with his or her own story to tell, who have been helped by Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. Among the young people served by Mercy Home are several who have gone on to attend Elmer's College on full tuition scholarships. 125 years after its founding, Mercy Home continues to offer life-saving opportunity for young people in need.